Okay guys, so welcome back. We're going to get into building out the rest of the UI, but instead of belaboring the point of this whole tutorial, I'm going to provide you with all of the nib files um, as well as the flat files I'm using for the data. So I'm gonna give you this link in the description below. All of these assets are something that we used before. The home icon and needs display icons, those are for um, the images. So what you'll do is, I'm actually gonna add all the images in here as well, but uh, you're gonna go ahead and grab these files out. And that way we can actually just worry about the section controller. Uh, the link for this will be provided below. All right, so let's get started. So here I am in my project and I just need to add those files that I just mentioned. So I'm just going to do that now. Track view, header view, button view. That's one, two, three, there should be five. And then the album cell view. So I already have, I already created this album preview one. So I'm not gonna grab that. I'm just gonna drop these into my view. Copy items as, as needed. All right, so now I actually have all of my cells. I also need to grab some of these data files. So I'm going to grab this one that says album data. Wait, that's not, that's not it. This is album data. And I'm going to get title data. I'm gonna move that into, um, Let's actually create a new folder in here. I'm just gonna say new group. I'm gonna call this a system, right? So let's act like this is gonna be our database that we're gonna be getting our files from. So I'm just gonna plop them all in here. Copy if needed and then finish. All right, so now I have my data. I have all of my view controllers. I have my cell. What I'm missing is the models. So. We can create uh, these together and, or I could probably just provide those as well. No, I think we'll create them together. So they won't be really difficult to create. I'll create, we'll create one together and then, um, yeah. So let's do that. So we need to create models, right? So all of these, if we take a look at some of these cells, and a lot of them, you'll see that they're missing images. So I'll need to provide you with these images as well. Okay, so back to, so our header is basically just that, a header. Um, there's no actions that'll be performed here. Just displaying a header for that section. There's different ways you can create this. I actually just created them as cells. And here we have another cell or nib, which is going to just be our kind of track information. And let's see if we can build this really fast so we can see. Yeah, we'll need to actually do all of the data since we have these data files first. All right, let's go ahead and just do that. So if you look in this data file, there this these system files, what we have is a class called album and it's taken in an album ID, an al album image, um, a title and an artist. And then if we look into the title data, which is going to be a mix of all the data. So we have an album preview class that we'll need to create. We'll need to create a header model class, a track model class, and um, that should be it. So let's go ahead and get started creating our models. All right, so let's create some new classes here. I'm gonna say file, new file. We're gonna, actually, we don't need a Cocoa Touch, we need a Swift file. So I'm gonna say Swift album preview and it's actually album previews so let's just change that really fast so I'm just going to import IG list kit and we've already seen we in this we need to actually make this a list diffable and our album preview it's going to be looking for an album ID an album image and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to say let album ID, so let album image, and that's going to be a string. Now just create an initialize init function here. All right, so now we just have to create a function, a diff identifier. 
and we're just going to return album ID as in as object. The next one is what we're going to use to see if two objects equal each other. So I'm just going to do a guard statement here. Self is not equal to object else. We want to return true. All right. And then another guard let object equal object as album preview. So create an object of our previews type else will return false and now we want to compare the two objects so we're going to return album id equal to well a true or false if the album id is equal to this new object album id and what we're going to want to do is basically do this for all of the other ones so we need a track we need a header we need an album and we need an album some type of view right so i'm going to actually provide you with all of these uh, since we've done one together all right so they didn't change anything because we didn't actually start feeding any of this stuff to our actual uh controller so here we just still have just the one um all right so that's going to get rid of that so basically let's since we're using this multiple places, let's go ahead and create a constant for it. Let a uh, screen side. And then here I could just say this screen size. I should be good. And all right. So let's see if that works. All right, so that gets rid of that weird extra scrolling thing. So sorry about that. I didn't even notice it. So, okay. Now what we need to do is we need to actually create our section controllers. And um, we'll do uh, that now. So, all right, guys. So I've provided you with all of this information. So I've given you a lot of stuff just so that we can focus on the section controllers and our view controller i've given you the album data the title data as well as all of these nib cells and views to use also the models are provided um to you so i'm just going to minimize all of this stuff because what i want to oh, not that what i want to actually focus on is are these three classes so we've created one section controller and what we need to do is we need to create the section controllers to view everything else so let's go ahead and start with our um, let's go ahead and start with our header because that's the next thing that comes uh, in that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a Cocoa Touch class IG list section controller I'm going to actually name it header section controller and I'm going to create that import IG list kit all right and I just want to I'm gonna have to remove this IG so it's going to be list section controller the first thing we want to do is create an, a head item so we're gonna say this class is the only thing that really needs to care about it so you can either do file private or var or just whatever but I'm just going to make it a private item and it's going to be header item and it's going to be of our header class that we just created so it's on the model type is going to be a header so it's going to follow what we've set up in here which is going to be an icon and a heading all right so let me jump back in here so let's do and let's override the init and I'm just going to add some space in between so an inset UI edge I'm just going to set this to it's gonna to say top be zero zero bottom we want something right underneath it and then we're just going to do another zero all right, so let me play it on this one so we can kind of reference. I'm gonna play the final uh, project so that way we can have a reference and be able to go back and forth with. 
All right, so I'm gonna just keep going while that's trying to build. So I'm going to have to do a size for item add again. I could just say size for item add. All right, I think this makes it a little bit clear. So what we have is we currently have, we currently have this top section controller or this scroll view here now we're actually the the track or the header is what we're doing now and we're just creating this little black line underneath it so when it create when it populates these it'll populate them with this little black line there all right so let's go ahead and continue all right so it's looking for us to return the size so we're going to return the cg size with which is going to equal is collection context we i think we'll be safe using it here with the other one it was a little bit more of a, a hassle i believe all right maybe i just did it wrong or maybe i don't need it or something probably is wrong with my any 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 number of reasons why that didn't work um but in order to get our size or so let's go to our header view so and the size is 45 so let's go back and let's make that 45 so if I go to our section controller and you can actually probably get the height of these cells so I could probably do that instead of doing this hard code and stuff so I'll leave that to you guys if you guys want me to do that then let me know and I'll go back in and I'll update it all right so now we need to go ahead and set up our cell so so I'm just going to do our guard let cell equals collection context if we have one and I want to DQ the reusable cell okay, and our nib name for this one is going to be header header uh, view cell and our bundle is going to be nil and it's for self and we have the index, right? That we're being returned. We're gonna cast that as a header view cell, view cell. Else we want to either print something or do some type of fatal error. So then we're just gonna return the cell. Now that we've created the cell object, we are going to want to set its header icon image. And we're gonna set that to the header item right so this header item is basically looking at our header class and it's saying that we have this header item and then we're going to want to set the icon right so in header in our header class we have this value called icon and we're going to want to set it to that okay so the next one is our header label dot text and we're going to set that equal to our header item dot heading. All right, and that's it for that one. This one's a lot shorter than the scroll view one. We're just going to return that cell, and then we're just going to do a override because we will be updating this, right? So if as you pull more in, you'll want to update your cells. And I'm going to say header item is equal to object as a header model or header class okay and that is true we can just go ahead and comment some of this stuff out we're actually only returning this kind of section controller so that's not going to work either let's go ahead and create some type of switch statement down here to determine which um, controller we're going to want to or which section controller we're going to want to um, return so we're going to do a switch and we're going to do it on this object so we're given an object here and we're going to see what kind of object it is so case f it is let's see what what have we created we have a header so if it's a header then we want to return our header header um, section controller 
Um, and default, let's con let's return our album section controller. Okay, so let's see if that's going to work for us. Actually, let me get this data early. I think we're not getting the data. So I'm going to say title data is going to be equal to title data, right? Just to initialize it up here. And then what I'm going to just say down here instead is just going to be title data dot get data. So let's see if that works. All right, so that's odd. Why would it, that happen? Okay, so basically all I did, let's get rid of that, is all I did was as I moved our adapter to our view did appear, it looks like it worked out pretty good for us and gave us the expected result. So here is our scroll view and here is our tracks header. So we're running kind of short on time. So in our next video, I will actually go ahead and just do this. If you already have everything you need as far as the assets, I would say try to do this on your own. And then next week, we'll go through it together and actually put in all of the different collection cells. Um, if you have any questions, I know this video was a little longer than expected. But if you have any questions, uh, feel free to comment and let me know. Uh, let me know if there's anything that you want me to cover in a future video. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.